Now today is also Small Business Saturday and nationwide shoppers spent more than $15 billion at locally owned shops last year. So we sent Denver 7's Amanda Del Castillo to check out the crowd at Aurora's Stanley Marketplace. Of the more than 15,000 businesses here in Aurora alone, about 94% of them are small and locally owned, including the 54 right here at the Stanley Marketplace. Yeah. Thanks for coming out for Small Business Saturday. Can I help you with anything? Shauna Colbin, Don is the owner of True in the Marketplace. It talks a little bit about the company. We are just doing what we do every single day. It's the very first Small Biz Saturday at Stanley. When people come out, they're a part of it too. Part of the rejuvenation. 68 cents of every dollar spent at a small business here stays in this community. So all the services of police and firemen, but also just vendors and also schools. Denise Burgess is the chairman of the board of the Denver Metro Chamber of Commerce. She's a small business owner herself. So I understand how every dollar counts and how you put all your heart and soul into it. She joined Aurora Mayor Steve Hogan and Denver Mayor Michael Hancock as they spoke about shopping small and shopping local. It's great that you have support from the larger businesses in the area, but this is the community. It's businesses like this that create the atmosphere that you want to be in. Robert Clamser, Sarah Stern and this group of kids did their part. We should be hit with summer trees. Spending Saturday morning supporting local businesses, boosting the economy, and preserving their neighborhood. They're going to go a bunch of shopping. They're going to have to work more. They don't realize that. Yeah. We're going to have to work more. In Aurora, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, Denver 7. And we saw plenty of local craftsmen at the Horseshoe Market earlier today. This annual event happens at the Highlands Masonic Temple, and it's open from 10 to 5 tomorrow as well. More than 100 local vendors have set up shop. And if you are looking for something to do this weekend, Denver 7 has you covered. You can find our list of seven things to do right now on the free Denver 7 app.